Hello children, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to learn about the different types of food we eat in our daily lives. Please subscribe the channel to get the new videos. Food is the basic necessity of our life. Living things need food to live and grow and remain healthy. We eat varieties of food. Food gives us energy to do various works. When we do not eat any food, we feel very weak. We get our food mainly from two sources, plants and animals. We eat the different parts of the plants like seeds, leaves, stems, roots and fruits. Which seeds we eat daily? Seeds like wheat, rice and maize are part of our food. First is rice. Rice is prepared from the seeds of rice. We can also prepare dosa and idli from the paste of ground rice and dal. Most of us like to eat chapatis, puri, paratha, bread. Do you know these are made from wheat flour? Wheat flour is obtained by grinding the seeds or grains of wheat. We eat the seeds of maize in many forms. We can roast the maize seeds and eat. We can make corn soup out of the ground paste of corn. And we can make corn chips and mix it with milk to eat. Dal or pulses are also the seeds of peas and grams. Boil to make dal for our lunch and dinner. We can mix it with rice in our lunch or dinner to eat. The next seeds of plants are the nuts. Nuts provide lot of energy and keep our body warm during winter season like cashew nuts. Peanut, almond, walnut. These are about some seeds of the plants we eat. Now, let's know about some leaves of the plants which we use to garnish food and add flavor to our food, like mint, coriander, and curry leaves. We often use these leaves to garnish our food and add flavor. There are some leaves of the plants which we often used as green vegetables and cook in our kitchen like spinach, fenugreek, mustard and cabbage. The leaves of plants like neem, tulsi and aloe vera protect us from various types of diseases and also boost our immune system. Let's know the stems of some plants we eat in our daily life. Do you know that potato and onions are the underground stem of the plant that we eat? Ginger and turmeric are also the stems of plants that we eat as spice in our daily life. The stem of lotus plant is called as Kamal Kakri. Often it is cooked by us and eaten. Now let us know about the roots of some plants we eat are carrot, radish, beetroot and turnip. These roots can be eaten as raw and cooked. In raw form we can make salad out of these roots and in cooked form, we can make vegetables out of these roots. Plants gives us varieties of fruits. Fruits gives us fit and healthy. They also protect us from various types of diseases. Some fruits are juicy and sweet like mangoes, orange, grapes, muskmelon and watermelons which are eaten as raw. 
But there are some fruits which are cooked and eaten as vegetables like tomato, brinjal, lady finger. Some of the fruits like tomato are eaten raw as well as cooked. Now let's know about the food we get from the animal sources like eggs, fish, meat and milk. Eggs are the great sources of protein for us. We get eggs from the poultry birds like hen, duck, goose, etc. Fish as well as meat of animals like hen, goat are liked by many of us. These are the great sources of protein for us. Now let's see the preparation of this from meat. The next important food we get from cow, goat, buffalo, camel, sheep, etc. is milk. Milk and milk product are considered as the complete food as they contain all type of nutrients necessary for the growth and development of our body. Milk give us energy and help us in our growth and also protect us from various types of diseases. So, we should drink milk every day to keep our bones and teeth healthy and for overall development of our body. Good needs varies from person to person and depend upon their age, occupation, physical activity and gender. People doing hard labor need more amount of food and eat more food than the people who work in office while sitting. From 1 to 6 months, babies drink milk only. Mother's milk is very good for the babies. From 6 months onwards, along with milk, Babies learn to eat soft pieces of fruits and semi-solid food. Growing age and young children need a balanced diet containing all types of nutritious food. So, you need to eat proper amount of a balanced diet. This diet can include rice, vegetables, chapatis, dal, dosa, idli, uttapam, sambar, fruits, nuts, milk, and milk products. We should drink sufficient water because water helps in digesting our food. Old people prefer easily digestible and simple food. Sometimes we eat too much. This is called overeating. Eating too much fast food can make us fat or obese. A fat person is generally not a very active or a healthy person. So we should avoid overeating. So eat healthy food to live a healthy life. Thank you for watching the video.